Hey guys, in this video we will talk about Crew Difficulty Act 3. I really kind of felt unprepared for Act 3, uh, especially for the whitening uh, mobs here on the battlefront. Uh, the chaos uh, damage nodes in the sewers were really harsh. Um, I grouped up with a friend. We were leveling together. We went through Act 3 together. Um, I pretty much my main goal was to uh, max up my resistances because they weren't maxed up. I, d I haven't used any auras. Uh, once I hit Merciless, I started using Auras. I will uh, explain you in the next video. So I actually went for Blood Magic because I had mana issues and I was just an, uh, and I wasn't using any Auras. So I just uh, fixed up my mana issues, picking up the Blood Magic, and then respecting it because I don't need it anymore. Mm. I did some. Uh, item hunting with uh, a site that I talked about in previous video. I'll make uh, another uh, clip just to explain that uh, site where you search uh, items in the forum, in the shops. What I bought was this amulet which gives me dexterity that I need. It gives me mana leech which I need for the uh, mana after I use the auras. I bought up this ring which gives a hundred and twenty something life which is boosted up by all my passives and mana leech uh, as well. I bought up this shield, I socketed it and uh, made the links. Ok armor, ok wife, the chaos resistance was the important part. I bought up this X. In total, this was like one chaos, this was like uh, two chaos, I think. The shoot was uh, one chaos, uh, one alchemy or something, and the X was one chaos. I earlier bought this uh, leather belt for one chaos as well, so in total, I s uh, and I bought this head, uh, which was one chaos as well. I socketed it and linked the socket. So in total, I wasted like three GCP. Three and a half tops for uh, items. While in the same time, I found a portal gem, which I sold for three GCP. I found a fox shade for uh, which I sold for two chaos, one alchemy, something like this. Mm. So in overall, I didn't need to use my in-game world in order to uh, my my working in-game world, which was the two exalts, in order to get the, these items. So that being said, even if you don't have my work to find the exalts, you can still manage to uh, pretty much gear up. The items that suck uh, the most from my gear are my gloves; they are terrible. This ring needs replacement. And the boots are kinda okay, but I won't sock it and link them because I think I will find better ones for sure. And uh, currently on Merciless I need a better X because this X is uh, 51 level and it's already outdated. It's slow, it's, uh, the increased physical damage is not that great either. What I did with the two exalts that I found earlier was to buy for 9 GCP this chest piece here, 5 linked 59 strength armor chest piece. I'm going to alchemy it and chaos it. Still haven't done yet, I'm waiting to hit up the 59 level and then I'm going to uh, do it. So on crew act 3. The chaos mobs are really dangerous. I finally got my the conversion trap, so I'm using it. Since I uh, got it, I'm using it uh, uh, to its fullest. Uh, it really helps to just uh, distract the mobs to make uh, one more ally for you and one more enemy for your enemy, so they get distracted and not focused only on you. Mm. I stopped using the mountain shell. I'm using Infibo from time to time. Warlord's mark. You can farm the dogs just with uh, maxing up your resistances. You don't need that much armor. For Pieti, 
I had to use this shield to get back to this shield because my resistances weren't maxed out at 80 something, 83ish 80, uh, with uh, purity aura. Um, there, there was one dead on PAT. One guy died. I didn't notice was in the code form of PAT or something. Uh, but I noticed that people. Some people kind of go unprepared for bosses. They know what they do, they know what they need, and they still get on low life or on uh, not maxed up resistances, which is just mistake. Don't go on boss if you don't have the maximum resistance on the, uh, 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 the um, elemental damage that the boss do. And always focus up your HP. This is your the m the thing that you have to get from your uh, passive tree as uh, as you see I can g uh, I get the uh, Marauder's HP I go top for the HP here then I go uh, near the temporal starting position I get these HP nodes I get these HP nodes I get these HP nodes and I'm going to go for these as well but not there yet and I'm getting the two endurance charges nodes which greatly reduce the physical damage uh, that my character takes. You just have to be as tanky as possible. The damage is not that uh, an issue. Mm, if you if you are just um, going through the content slowly because of your uh, low DPS, just group up. The important part is not to die. With a group, you will be able to survive and to go through the content. Uh, quick enough. Just don't rush it, play it safe. Okay guys, well this is it about this video. I will make another one for the Merciless Act 1. Uh, if you have a good idea what the next video should be about, just write it down in the comment sections below. I'll be happy to make a video about it. You can always hit me up on the stream to chat with me, leave, to uh, tell me what you think about these videos. Do you have any suggestions or recommendations? Okay guys, see you in the next video.